is Fantasy Esque, and welcome back to Elden Pleasant View. If you're not sure what's going on, don't worry, we'll figure it out as we go. If it's really bothering you though, I'll link the playlists down below. Last time, Don invited Brandy over for a chat and also welcomed a new member to the family, a red hunting elf hound named Sedusa. They spent much of their days collecting harvests and generally making money at the market stall. That completes round one with the Lotharios. Today we'll be playing with the Pleasant family who live all the way down here. Let's see what they get up to. Finally, I get to play with my favorite couple in Elven Pleasant View, solely because I feel like they're the most beautiful Elven couple in this world. So I'm really excited to dive into it. This family is going to be just as exciting as the Kellyentes because Daniel and Mary Sue, they've got two daughters that they have to marry off and they haven't had a son yet. Now obviously it's a little bit different from Katrina's situation because she had her child out of wedlock, whereas Daniel, he has already, you know, married Mary Sue. And I've mentioned this before, but within our storyline, Mary Sue is actually the stepmother of Angela and Lilith Pleasant. Uh, Daniel is their biological father, but um, yeah, M Mary Sue hasn't had any children yet, so I'm assuming, you know, in this in this alternate reality, I'm assuming that Daniel had Lilith and Angela with his previous wife, and she must have died. The previous wife must have died, and then Daniel went and remarried Mary Sue. So I'm very very excited. Definitely want to get working on his son, which we will in a second. But first, I want to take a look at his relationship panels because. Daniel is known to be a cheater in The Sims 2, and I don't know if that's what we're going to be faced with. I have mentioned when playing with the other families that I always see Daniel and Mary Sue together when they're out, or if Daniel goes somewhere, Mary Sue, he comes back with Mary Sue later on, so he hasn't been caught doing anything. I feel like us playing with Don Lothario was the one time where he kind of got caught out, um, but it wasn't even him initiating something, it was Don being flirty with him. And he accepted the flirt, but there was nothing else that happened between them. So, taking a look at the relationship panel, look at that. He's got no, like, pink bar with Don, obviously. No pink bar with uh, anyone except for Mary Sue. Um, Jennifer is his sister, but it seems as though their relationship is really not high. I suppose they're the kind of siblings that just leave each other alone and live their own lives, interestingly enough. Um, but he's got a good relationship with both his daughters, and obviously he is completely in love with Mary Sue. I don't know if this is going to change going forward, but it might. We'll have to see. Now these guys, they initially had, I have to mention this on the side, <laughs> they initially had um, brown chickens, because that was the closest thing to you know, redhead chickens, but I decided to get them white chickens because we have not messed around with white chickens yet and they just looked pretty and you know what Daniel and you know his kids they are fair skinned with that reddish hair so the chickens kind of look like them as well <laughs> the white chickens with you know red bits around the face so it reminded me of the pleasant they looked like they would fit in as pleasant chickens so lo and behold this is where they are Okay, that aside, let's quickly go through the other portrait, um, not portrait panels, the other relationship panels. Mary Sue, she, oh, okay. So she, this is nice, she actually is friends with her sister-in-law. That's funny. Daniel, like, barely has, he has pretty much no relationship with his blood sister. But his new wife has decided to befriend his sister-in-law, that's quite nice. And she's also friends with Lord John. So her sister-in-law and brother-in-law, which is quite nice. Huh, that's good. She has not managed to befriend uh, her stepdaughters just yet, but that's fine. I do see them, well, it looks like now they are spending some time playing together, so that's actually really sweet. And then Lilith. Let's see. Lilith does not... Oh. Oh, she's friends with Lord Darren Dreamer. Which is fascinating to me. Where did you meet Darren Dreamer? Also, guys, I don't know if we've met, if we've seen Angela and Lilith around town. We might have. But definitely not, like, very much. 
I feel like it's the the elders that we see coming around, coming and going. Typically, it's the heads of the houses, like the lords and ladies, actually, that we see coming and going. I don't see a lot of the sirs and the misses. So, okay, I've got that. And then Angela, she, again, doesn't have very much of a relationship with her aunt. Lilith is very oblivious to her aunt. She, like, doesn't even know who her aunt is. That's a bit silly, child. That is a bit silly. Okay, well, that's kind of interesting to note. Very, very interesting to note. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. But okay. Um, quickly, let's go through the home they have as well. We are starting off with 2,250 simoleons because that is the amount of household funds they have in The Sims 2. This is their beautiful abode, which I had to make like another level of. So I think normally this particular home has two levels. I had to add a level on top of that so that we could accommodate everyone. But look at how cute this place looks. Now we did have a bonfire here that I put beforehand, but then re like I looking around the house, I realized we didn't have anywhere to place the market stall and these guys definitely need a source of income. I'm thinking that I want them to be like the dreamers because you know they live in town as well so it makes sense if they have um, food that they sell very much like the dreamers um, yeah I, I kind of like that idea it's gonna give them good income and uh, it makes sense it makes sense they don't live out like Don Lothario in the countryside they shouldn't be struggling as much as Don Lothario is so I've got that they've got like I said the white chickens um, unlike other homes, they actually have a recreational space with the horseshoe thingamajiggy where they can play games with each other, which is quite nice. They are growing some watermelons back here. Um, they have the seance table. We haven't used very much of this, but I think this was probably Lilith's introduction to the family. Uh, it might be something that Mary Sue chooses to dabble in as well. We'll have to see. Um... We've got this, which I might use for something. I might, like, place somewhere else. I don't know. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. Um, so this is outside. They've got a little barbecue area. If we go inside, it's quite cozy and nice looking. Inside, look at this. They have a generous, I feel like, living room. And then we have a little nook over here with the kitchen and the dining room, which looks quite beautiful. They have a study, which... How many other families have studies? I think the Calientes might and the Goths, but then I haven't seen any of the households with studies, so they're actually quite well off. They have a nice bathroom over here. You come upstairs. They have the nursery right over here with another bathroom. Uh, two bathrooms, actually, on this level. Hmm, spacious two bathrooms and then they have this bedroom which belongs to Daniel and Mary Sue and then they have like a attic space I suppose a third level you come up here and this is where Angela and Lilith have their bedrooms so Angela is right over here on the right side and Lilith is on the left so yeah they have attic bedrooms now when they marry out obviously that'll make space for some more children that Mary Sue and Daniel will have, but that's kind of what we are working with over here. And already the family has some whims for each other, which is nice to see. But before we do like anything, I think Daniel and Mary Sue want to get want to get started. So let me take them. Yeah, so they're gonna go ahead. They're gonna try to expand the family, of course, because this is gonna be on the forefront of Daniel's mind. Nope. Nope, really? You don't want to cooperate? Okay, guys, this is something that I have thought about, but I haven't spoken about just yet because I keep well, forgetting it, forgetting about it. So when we played with the Dreamers, we were struggling to have that interaction go through and it just wasn't working. And I was wondering if it was a, a lot problem. I'm thinking it might just be this particular neighborhood. So not Henford on Bagley, but like this in town, like Finchwick. I think it might be a Finchwick problem because this interaction has worked perfectly well with 
all the other families that we've played so far, except for the Dreamers. And at for you know for a bit there, I thought maybe there was an update or something happened, something you know glitched out. But even when we took the Dreamers to the bar, they weren't successful at it there as well. I don't know if it's like every lot in Finchwick or if it's only affecting you if your household is somewhere in Finchwick. But these guys, yeah, they're not being able to try for a baby and neither was the Dreamers. So that... That's interesting. So in the dreamer kind of situation, I had to use cheats to um, get Dina to conceive and I might just have to do that here because I don't think the interaction is going through. There's space in the household, none of the beds are locked up, they should have access to it because they can sleep there. So I think the issue is with households in Finchwick. If you guys have had similar problems, let me know. But my workaround is obviously just to come here and hold on, hold on, because I, I don't even think they can, they can woohoo. I don't even think a woohoo goes through. Well, it'd be interesting if it did and it, it was just the try for a baby that doesn't work. Uh, but, you know, it's not that big of a deal because I have figured out I need cheats to get it done for these particular families. Is this going to work? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yep, okay, so it is just... Yeah, I don't know what it is, guys, but it's the Finchwick households. They have a problem with specifically the try for a baby interaction, which none of the households, like other households, do. For Mortimer, it worked just fine with Katrina. For... Uh, well, Dina, it didn't work. And we've actually only had two offspring, right? We've only had two offspring. So I'm going off of that. Like Mortimer, he lived outside, not in Finchwick. He and the Calientes lived in kind of the same general area. And it was okay for him. And it was okay for Katrina. But Dina had a problem and these guys are having problems. So I'm just going to get them to go through the normal woohoo. And then I'm going to get it to con conceive. And then I suppose when we play with the burbs and the oldies, we'll have to check to see if other areas of Henford and Bagley have a problem as well. But that's kind of curious. That's kind of curious. I've never had this problem like anywhere else. So I kind of um, I freaked out with Dina. And actually, um, the reason I'm saying this as well, before I even started Elven Pleasant View, I did a like play test with the pancakes so i moved the pancakes into this particular lot and i was trying to get them to do the same thing and their interaction wasn't going through it kept canceling out and i thought it was just the pancake family and then when the dreamers moved in they were having the same problems so then i figured it was just this particular lot but now that the pleasants are having the same problem i'm thinking it's households in Fintrick. so okay daniel let's go through so we have to go, you know, on the cheats. And I have to, where is it? Make pregnant. There we go. So now we're going to get her to take a test. And that should come out positive. And yep, there we go. Congratulations, guys. Mary Sue is eating for two. I am super duper happy for them. I'm super duper excited for them. Ah, I can't wait. They're going to have beautiful children. I cannot wait. Look at how gorgeous she looks. She's so pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, wonderful. Wonderful. Now let's go ahead and actually put in an event for when she's going to have this child because we can't afford to do that. And since we got this done so early, um, we actually might, I don't know for sure, might be able to get, if it turns out to be a girl, who might be able to get a second pregnancy in, in this round. So, one, two, three, Saturday, 5.30 p.m. Okay, Saturday, let's see, we just want a house party. Yes, thank you. We'll have all of these guys in. I don't know if uh, Angela and Lith are going to be here by the time their stepmother gives birth because, again, 
they are in this round going to be married out. So actually, hold on. Not everyone here is hosting. We'll actually get, yeah, Lilith, Angela, and then I think we want to invite Jennifer and John because, you know, they're going to be the aunt and uncle of this baby that's born. So that's nice. Yep, we'll have it here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I suppose um, it's already scheduled to start at 6, really? We could do 5, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. on Saturday. Yeah, and she should be going into labor at like around 5.30. Okay, sweet, that's good. Well, once this baby's born, if we need to, we should be able to get one more pregnancy in. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, good on you guys. Good on you. Oh, look. Her stepdaughters actually came upstairs so they could congratulate her and talk to her about her new pregnancy. That's actually so sweet. Especially because they're not really close to her very much at all. They haven't managed to be friends her. But they don't dislike her. They don't dislike her. I think it's just that they are grown themselves now and so you know they probably have other things of interest they have given their time and attention to but okay angela she wants to cloud gaze with daniel but also she wants to become friends with lady mary sue which is so sweet that's actually so nice i'm gonna get her to go and uh, cloud gaze with uh, daniel oh oh hold on hold on i actually need to put the market stall down also Yes, we have 2,000, but it takes us 1,000 to host, like, each wedding. Which means these guys, they need to put some attention and some time into making money. They definitely need to, to do some of that. So actually, 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 let's put down the market stool. And I want to put it right here because we don't have any other place uh, that we can fit that in. So yeah, I had to boot out the where is my market stall here we go now which one would we like for these guys do we want like a blue one i mean the blue one looks kind of nice the blue one might be nice for them hmm okay hold on how do i want to do this exactly how do i want to do this so i want this to be a thing maybe like right over here like right over there. I don't want it to back up a bit. Is that better? Back up a bit more. Okay, this seems to be a good general area to have that market stall. I want to move it further back. We could have it right up against, you know, this. Kind of opens up the area a little bit. Yeah, we might just have it over there. Okay, that's fine. Mm, I like this. I like this. It's not like blocking too much on either side. That's great. That's great. Okay, nice. That means people can come and purchase things uh, from here. We can set up and also I kind of like that they come out through this door, through this gate, set themselves up here and then people can come in right in that corner. Good, good, good. Okay, nice. That is done and well. I need to get Mary Sue on making some stuff for us to sell. But I also really do want to get some of these whims in because we don't know how much longer these daughters have in this house. Okay, Angela, you and Daniel can go out in a second. But first, Lilith wants to be mischievous with her father. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's be mischievous. Uh, I feel like pretending to be slapped is a bit... Like, it's a bit extra. Maybe impersonate mermaids. We'll do, we'll do like a low-key mischief interaction. Yeah. And are these guys sweating? Like, what is that? Are they sweating? Because they woohooed. Are you kidding me? Is this a thing? Is this a thing, guys? Oh my goodness. Since when has this been a thing? Because I noticed it on Mary Sue as well, and I'm noticing it on Daniel. 
Is that a deep? Oh, maybe maybe that's a wonderful whims detail actually. Maybe that's a flippin' wonderful whims detail. Huh. Okay, also Daniel wants to ask Mary Sue about it. Day, he wants to check in on her. Obviously, she's expectant. So, let's go ahead and do that. How you doing? You feeling okay? Everything's good? Okay, that's nice. He also wants to invite over Lady Jennifer for a chat. You know what? He probably wants to tell his sister. It's like 7 p.m. I don't know if they are going to spend today making money. But yeah, definitely probably wants to give his sister the good news. Even though they're not the closest, he probably feels like this is big enough to, you know, tell the family members. So okay, Jennifer's going to show up. Excellent. We'll give uh, Sister Dearest... Okay, don't, don't invite... I mean, what am I saying? What am I saying? Nobody move with the food. Mary Sue is going to cook us up some dinner. And because Jennifer's here, we might want to make a little bit extra. So I'll make a gourmet meal. Actually... Actually, now with Mary Sue, I noticed that with Don Lothario, she and Daniel came over quite a few times to purchase some of his harvestables, and then in the inventory, they have like these things, which I was a bit confused by because I was like, where did they get these things? But now I'm thinking maybe they got these things from Don Lothario, because these are exactly the things that he was selling, which is so cool. If it shows up in the inventory, I think that is just so cool. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, we have we have these harvestables. We might be able to use them in food. Food, 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 of course. Okay, let's take a look. Got some interesting stuff here. Pies, mushroom soups. But no, I have my eye on something else. Oh, French toast sounds good. Actually, should we make some French toast? Let's do a big family size of French toast. That sounds good. Okay, we'll do that. Um, this. Angela, can you... Lilith? Actually, Lilith, can you clean this up? Thank you, kiddo. Thank you. Okay, are you inviting your sister in? You're giving her the good news? Brighten her day? Tell her about the changes happening to the family? I'm sure she's going to be thrilled for you. I mean, Jennifer is very much in the same situation. She and her husband have one daughter, so they are still going to be trying to have that son. Okay, excellent, excellent. So, you know, Jennifer's probably super thrilled for Mary Sue because she could understand the joy of expanding the family as well. It is something that she wants to work on. Oh, yes, yeah, nice. Um, Mary Sue enjoys cooking. Okay, French toast is done. Let's call family to the meal. Come on. Do you want to invite everyone else? Do you want to invite everyone else to eat as well? You're going to have to get, get, you're going to get up and then invite everyone. That's also cool. Okay. Before the people starve, let's all feed ourselves. Yay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, see Jennifer's coming. Good thing we made enough for everyone. Okay, you better be coming back down, sir. Yes, thank you. Once everyone's done eating, then we can get Angela to cloud gaze with Daniel, and I'll get her to befriend Mary Sue. Um, and I think we can get Mary Sue to maybe tomorrow, when she wakes up, make some things and set up the market stall. And I'm sure she can get you know, her stepdaughters to work on that because she's expectant and really it's their wedding we're saving up money for. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Look who's on Raspberry Pi duty guys. It's Angela. And she also hold on, hold on, hold on. No 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 no. Come out here, tend the table. It's storming. She has an umbrella out. And guys, I'm realizing I've become lazy with the umbrellas. Remember how I was supposed to like change them? <laughs> Yeah, I've been forgetting, so I I need to go off at some point, like outside an episode, and actually fix the umbrellas of the households that I didn't. I'm pretty sure I did 
Oh, I did the Dreamers, the Calientes, and the Brokes. I forgot with the Goths and the Lotharios and the Flippin' Pleasant. So I'm, I'm going to have to fix all of that. But let's tend the table. Let's start... Um, oh, mark up price. Start a yard sale. These raspberry pie slices are going to be expensive. She also wants to um, chat with her Aunt Jennifer, which is quite nice. So I wonder if we can invite Jennifer over. Maybe like keep us company while we're working the stall. That might be nice. That might be nice. So I'll invite over Jennifer. I wonder who's going to come to purchase things from us. Any of the neighborhood elves? Also guys, guess what I noticed? You know how he swapped out to these like white chickens? White chicken. White chicken on the counter was standing here for I don't know how long or sitting there. But that's so cute. Oh look, it's Mortimer Goth. With his umbrella that I didn't like fix. I will get to it. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I will get to it eventually. Has Jennifer... Has she decided to show up at all? I mean, this is probably a very scary experience for people. And oh, look at this! Mary Sue and Lilith are bonding by doing some cross-stitching. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Really, that's adorable. While Angela is busy over here earning some simoleons. But this is going to be what the household's pretty much focused on. Because we want to have a good amount of money for us to be able to host the weddings, and we don't want to be in the same situation as the Calientes, where they literally had no simoleons to, like, enjoy anything there, enjoy any of the drinks, any of the food. I want to try and make this a bit more luxurious, because I don't know... I think we're probably not going to have any weddings after, like, these two for a while, because none of the households have daughters of marriageable ages to marry off. So this is kind of a big deal and it's very exciting for everyone involved. So we definitely want to try and uh, make it as lavish as possible. Oh, Jennifer's over here. Jennifer, do you reckon you'd come and just like chat with us? Oh, could we do a sales pitch? Maybe we want to do a sales pitch to our aunt. Let's give a sales pitch. Come on, Jennifer. Jennifer! She's busy, like, just chatting with everyone else while Angela's out here getting wet. Oh my goodness. Okay, stock. Nope. Was that it? I think that was it. That was all we kind of had. We just made the one pie. Sold out the one pie. Because I, I realized, I went a bit, you know, extra with Darren when we, like, started this whole thing. And then I realized that the more food you have, it'll go off. It'll go off. So it's better to just make one batch of something, sell all of that, make another batch. Yeah. Yeah, thankfully we have a lot of this uh, vegetable casserole for everyone to eat. I mean, that's that's cool. But also, cross-stitching takes a lot of money. Oh my goodness, my voice. What just happened to my voice? But yeah, cross-stitching is pricey. That's probably why our money's also going down quite a bit. But you know what? We might just sell some of the stuff they're cross-stitching. Like, if they finish with this, we'll just pop it up to be sold and that might help that out, like help us out as well. So, okay, that's great. Jennifer! Oh, we want to talk with her, but she's like too busy. She's too busy doing all this stuff. And these guys aren't really having any particular whims. But you know, it's good for us to get a bit of an indicator about what needs to be done. Um, oh my goodness. Lilith, actually, you guys are busy. Daniel's the one that isn't busy. So why don't you come outside, you weed, you spray, and then you take uh, care of your your chickens. Collect the eggs, give them to your wife, scatter the feed nearby. Um, clean, oh, the coop is already clean. Okay, that's fine. Since the chickens aren't roaming around, I suppose they don't exactly want any conversation. That is fine with me. But okay, guys, with that said and done, I am going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.